Aquarius, what's up? We're going to do your first proof read for the first week of September, for the first month. What am I saying? The first week of September, for the month of September. So for you, we have, <clears throat> okay, this is interesting because like, you know, you are connected to the fifth ray of consciousness. We have a five here. It's Taurus, it squares you. So there's a conflict, okay? And there's, you know, something needs to be resolved here, Aquarius. And it has to do with being uh, resolved uh, in terms of you, your friendships, your relationships, your family. There needs to be something resolved. You know, um, and it could have to do with finances. You know, your job. Is your job giving you the freedom that you need? Is like, do you have the freedom that you need? Do you feel the freedom to create the life that you want. You know, is everything adding up for you? And ask yourself, is everything adding up? And it's also saying, be honest with yourself, right? Because the, the fives want us to be truly authentic, right? It wants us to... Um, not deny the reality that we see ourselves faced with you know an undeniable truth yeah and this is you know it's a card that expresses the concept of not being satisfied. It explains the concept of not being satisfied with oneself. So we are adding things on to kind of make us feel like we are doing things the way that we should be doing them based on, you know, society, societal views. And we're realizing that the best thing that we could do is rebel against societal uh, constructs and not be too overly concerned with whether or not the things that we are doing or the things that we have or what we have to show for who we are or for our lives is up to par with anyone else's idea of what that should be, or if it aligns with anything anyone else, you know, has or is doing. Okay, it's about being flexible in your reality to know that sometimes things need to change. You know, because, you know, you are an air sign, but you also are fixed. So you could have some fixed ideas. And that is why this card is so much connected to you because you're connected to that fifth ray. You are connected to Taurus because there is a square there. We have a square here with the four of cups being a four. And then we've got Mercury here, which is exalted in your sign. And Mercury is asking us to, to you know, um, free ourselves of expectations because we will find pleasure in that. Like, it's almost like nothing is good enough, right? You're, you're passing things up because nothing is good enough, perhaps. Your appetite, you know, and not necessarily just your appetite, but like nothing is going to necessarily serve you in the ways that you want it to because you are trying to um, 
I don't know, align with someone else's reality or live someone else's reality or something like that, you know? We've got to take a little bit of this weight off. We've got to take a, the, take a little bit of the load off, you know? And it's like, you don't have to wear these badges, you know, of honor that are weighing you down. You know, it's kind of like, well, you know, uh, the badge of honor could be like you not wanting to change your mind about something. Or the badge of honor could be like you are being too prideful about some, something, you know, to, to, to see where maybe you or something needs to change, you know? Let's see what your card is, right? The chariot, good. This is cancer. This is balance. So we need to balance out a situation. This is probably balancing out a situation by moving, or this is balancing out a situation some of you need to just get your car fixed, or some of you might even be thinking, you know, some of you might be like, damn, I gotta get a new car. And it's like, yeah, it's probably time for you to do that anyway. When was the timing gonna be right? You were gonna keep, you were gonna keep doing things the same way. You were gonna keep doing things the same way. And then that wasn't gonna work, you know? You were gonna run into some issues by doing things the same way. And this says that things can no longer be done the same way because it's time to move forward, it's time to move on, it's time to look look towards the horizon and see what that is, you know, in the near future. And this is saying that we're in the midst of change, right? There's some expansion here, there's some luck here. You know, there's an opportunity to 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 move forward in a in a new way, right? <clears throat> It's taking the good with the bad. Understanding what needs to be done. Understanding what has to be done because it's connected to Mars by way of the tower. And this is moving towards a new life, moving towards a new foundation. And putting up with a lot to get there too. So somebody's been putting up with a lot on this journey, on this road to change. Okay. Somebody, some of you guys could be in an interracial relationship. Um, you could be dealing with a Cancer. You could be dealing with a Libra. You could be dealing with a an Aries. You could be dealing with any of the water signs. But this, this is definitely talking about gaining control of a situation, getting control of a situation and being able to make a conscious effort to um, move ahead, progress, leave something behind, free yourself of something that might have been holding you back, you know, because that's the tower too, that's Mars, that's the other seven, because Mars can hold you back just because it's exalted in Capricorn. And also, like, in Scorpio, Scorpio kind of, like, has that energy of, of feeling held back, you know? Because the horses are being kind of held back, but they're still moving forward while being held back. So that's the opposition. That's the adversity, having to overcome that, right? The opposition, the adversity, whatever. da 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 da, -da. All right, bye Cap, or Aquarius, I'm sorry. <laughs>